No oh boy. Ski Knucklehuck returns to X Games Aspen 2023. This is by far one of the best events during the entire X Games season. There's the start list. Jonah Kanga starting things off, has one of the best butters in the entire sport. Colby Stevenson, United State Olympian, competing in all three, I think, this year, except Super Pipe. He's doing big air slope style and Knucklehuck. Taste Sponsor, first person to ever toss a switch quad 16. <laughs> Jesper Shader, absolutely incredible skier, broke the world record for the longest rail slide last year. Alex Hackle making his X Games debut on a thousand skis. Henrik Harlow won this event back in 2021. Still one of the greatest to ever do it. Alex Hall coming off an X Games Big Air win last year for doing the world's first switch double cork 2160 Buick grab. And Quinn, Quan, won this event last year for some locked and loaded style. Oh, Quinn. These are some good skiers. First one to drop, Jonah Kangas, 25 years young, comes out of Finland and again, making his X Games debut here. Some big rotations, unique variety, and absolutely jaw-dropping tricks. Dropping in forward, left side of the kicker. Oh. <laughs> Starting off with a left side nose butter 360, managed to lock in a trail and weddle there for a second, but watch him push those nostrils in. His skis are perfectly together. So hard to keep them that close together, especially when you're going for a massive nose butter. Manages to lock that trail in Weddle, so he's grabbing the outside edge of his opposite ski above the knee there, and the landing was just as good as the takeoff. Execution doesn't get better than that. Next one to drop, Colby Stevenson. Skis for Monster and K2. Won this event back in 2020. Dropping in switch for his first hit here. Utah's Colby oh. Stevenson. Oh, Colby Come Stevenson. on. Going for a full switch 1080 Japan there, but he got a tail butter and a nose butter on that first 360. So he's doing three full spins there, but on that first one, watch this. Goes for the tail butter, then the nose butter, showing both sides of the skis that they're love. Grabs that Japan grab, which is grabbing the inside edge of your opposite ski. Pulls around the last 720 to make it a 1080 textbook landing. <laughs> We're just getting started. Matei Sponsor dropping in for his first hit. This guy knows how to huck himself. He did a full nose by Dub 19 in the last X Games Big Air event. And he knows how to spin, but he also knows how to do these ridiculous pullbacks. You'll see the slow-mo hopefully on it here. But he goes for like a rodeo slash flat three. That was more link and loop, if anything, but then does an opposite 180. So where his momentum is going, he essentially says frig off momentum and pulls it back in the opposite direction. Far he goes down the land. That's insane right there. This is rapid fire. Next up, Jesper Shader, one of the quietest but nicest individuals you will ever meet. Had the pleasure to film his world record last year. Also a knuckle huck veteran coming in switch for his first head. Here on his first attempt. Oh, oh Pulling out the switch, double backflip, did the same trick in X Games, Knucklehog, Norway. Even he can't believe it. Look at that complexion. You gotta have more courage than Rambo himself to toss that stunt. Right at the first line, he's already around half, comes around one full rotation, has 20 feet of air underneath him, and decides to go for dub. Why not? Next up, Alex Hackle. He's one of the best street skiers on the planet. He's been a part of X Games real ski events, but never an actual... X Games Aspen event, making his knuckle huck debut here. He competed in two real oh, ski yeah. events. Big old nose butter 1080, going off the nostrils, doing two and a half rotations to make that a 1080. Look at the pressure on his all factories here. Look at that. <laughs> Next up, Henrik Harlow, one of the greatest to ever do it, comes from Sweden. It's Henrik Harlow. Oh, winding up. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no. Gets up. He's okay. That was a heavy crank on the old dome there. Look how moist his face is. Oh, man. These guys are tanks. Nose butter double cork 1080 on your first hit. Comes off, butters the buns, and goes for a dub nine out. Two flips, three full rotations on that trick. If he's able to pull that to 10, maybe even to 12, looks like he wanted to rotate one more. That's going to be nice. Last year's X Games Big Air gold medalist and Olympic slope style gold medalist Alex Hall coming in for his first hit. Alex Hall coming in hot. He got the gold oh. in 2020. In oh. Ways. Big old 360 surface swap, perfectly executed and gets a Misty 540 out, locks in that trail in Japan grab. Next up, Quinn Wolferman skis for Armada and Monster, the only athlete to toss a triple front flip in an X Games Big Air event, dropping in switch. Defending winner in this event, Quinn oh. Wolferman. Butter in the bun so hard that the bread itself broke there. That was the nastiest switched hill butt I've seen in ages. Holding it the entirety of that 360 there. Catches his edges so he can toss that switch five out. Really creative with the use of the tail butter. He once completed back up to the top. Jonah Kangas coming in run two. Going on here as we go back to, to the oh, top of the Oh, wow. With Oh, he butters in such a different way than all the other athletes. He just goes for like a 90 degree slash on the noses of his skis. Also managed to get his hand nice and intimate with the knuckle there and grabs trail and blunt. 
which is basically grabbing the tip tail of your ski. So difficult to do when you're trying to get intimate with a knuckle and toss a 540. Perfectly executed once again. Colby Stevenson, run two. Rankings, there's no scores. We just find out at the end. The judges oh, talk wow. it over. We take another look at Colby Stevenson here. Doing the exact same trick as run one, but this time doing it in the opposite direction. Switch right side tail butt to nose butt 1080. Spinning ski stunts in your unnatural direction is so difficult. Take a PhD student that isn't ambidextrous and tell them to write their dissertation with their opposite hand. They can't. This, this is the same thing, dude. This shouldn't be possible. That was crazy. Matei Sponsor coming in for a second hit. Popping and switch. Two here for Matei Sponsor. Switch tail, bud. Switch 360 out. You see how he pops his skis out on that last switch three there? That was decent. Pay attention to his knees. He's going to fully extend them here. Look at that. Oh! Again, doing the trick is one thing, but being able to extend a meniscus like that while you're spinning 40 odd thousand feet in the sky is a whole different game. Wow. Jesper Shader coming off the switch double backflip, popping in for run two. Hey, baby. Oh, yeah. Just putting in some training there, going for a mellow front flip. Gonna be a predecessor for something else to come. I saw something on his story during X Games knuckle hug practice, and if he pulls that out, Mm, that's gonna make all of us shed a couple tears. He didn't even have to nollie on that. That was just straight off his tails. Wow. Yeah, I really love Alex Hackle smiling on his second run here. This, this man is always smiling. He's the most joyful person I think I've ever had a conversation with. Always stoked on everything. If you pour him a bucket of cereal, he's gonna be happy. For attempt number two. Oh! Wow. A little pre-180 going into almost a switch under flip axis there. That was greasy. Henrik Carlo coming in for second. See if he can put that nose butter dub 10 to his feet. Oh, coming in with a lot of speed here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, take it into 1260. Nose butter double court 1260. Three and a half rotations. Two flips off the noses of his ski. I didn't really mean to. No, no, no. Quinn Wolferman coming in skiers left. When Nolly 360 instantly into a nose butter nine, slightly missing the tail grab. So that's gonna be a throwaway for him, but he's got time for one or two more runs. Out for thirds, Jonah Kangas popping in switch for the first time out of all three runs. In and out at the end of it all, it's a big reveal at the end. We start oh, at the top of the run. Oh, wow. Again. You don't gotta huck tens, you don't gotta huck dub twelves. You can just toss a buttery. Switch tail bud seven and call it a day. He even did a little pull plant off the knuckle there. It's the subtleties that'll make you quiver. Mmm. Over for that Cuban, just so smooth. Colby Stevenson coming in, dude. Stop. <laughs> Following up, Henrik Carlo with the nose bud dub twelve and throwing one of his own. Like you got to keep in mind your ability to carry your momentum and especially your ability to pop is completely castrated when you go for a nose butter. So it is insane to see Colby off the noses of his skis go for two flips and three full 360s. Also grab that trail and safety grab there as well. Again, that was a double cork nose bud double cork 1260. You got knuckle hug. Matei sponsor run three. It's gonna go to the right of the lift this time around. Oh. <laughs> train with a dub of his own that was a left side dub cork 720 locking in a trail and safety grab as well man he can't even believe it for himself oh look at him yank his tongue on the side of his cheek there off the edges gets a hand drag with it as well almost he was trying to go for a safety nose maybe did you see that looks like he wanted to go safety and then lead nose on a dub set Dude, I'm nuts. All right, we saw Jesper warming up the front flips on run two, so run three is gonna pull out something hectic. Mark. Oh, Jesper. Oh, 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 wow. Even Romeo would find that ski stunt sweeter than Juliet. Look at this. Right off the ninja flip. Big old fronty opens up for the late brawny. Dude, this is a that, that's a trampoline trick. Throwing that on skis on a perfect pitch perfect booter has been done before, but off a knock, off a knuckle, and the execution is textbook. He didn't even need to squat. Looks like he was doing a squat with a couple of paint cans. Quinn Wolferman popping in switch for his third attempt. For the big air jump, able to oh! <laughs> 
Thomas Quinn <gasps> Man, I don't think I've ever seen a switch tail bud dud 10 down before. So much easier to pull the 1260. I'm sure that stunt has been done. It's definitely never been done in the X Games Knuckle Hut contest. Hopefully we get a replay on that. If he's able to put that down to his feet, that is for sure a podium hit. Comes in backwards, presses his tails immediately into the biscuit, then has to pop a dub nine out of that, which means he has to do two dumb dips and two and a half spins. But it's actually easier to spin more, take it to forward, and do it at 1260 when you're doing a butter off a knuckle and you want to dub it. So to see him try and hold that momentum at 1080, that does wonders for my stomach. Jonah Kangas run four. Different winners and four different events. Uh, they're all in this event. You're doing well together. Watching this guy ski is like reading a textbook. Nose but nine Cuban. Think he was able to grab Cuban on that. See if we can watch him grab his tail or not. Yeah, Cuban, you're going all the way over and grabbing your opposite ski's tail. Tip tail. So much precision, so much dexterity needed. A little bit of a wobble on the landing, but it's better than any landing I could ever do, so <laughs> sick. Mate sponsor blasting in for his fourth attempt. I think he wanted to hold it at nose by dub nine, but he was at nine, and in the span of a middle second, he made the decision to pull the round to 1080. To have that reaction time, look at this, he holds it at 9 trying to and it's like, no, I'm going to 10 and immediately pulls it around. I don't know if you want to dub 10, if you want to dub 9, but if he manages to hold that at dub 9 again, that is much more difficult. Sweet cheddar cheese, that was gorgeous. Ski, I think he's trying to land switch there and just has to spin that. Yes, for Shader, he's already done the double backflip, he's already done the front flip to lay Barani. I don't know how you improve on anything here, just go for a victory lap perhaps? I don't even know if he's in first. Right side three, going for the areola drag there. Love to see a little cork nine out. Too easy for him. You can Henry Carlo popping him forward. Goes 270 up, Tokyo Drift. Pops out 630, locks in that trail and safety grab to make it a full 900. But that was a little bit different than the other stunts we've been seeing. Instead of going nose or tail, buddy, goes 270, lands 90 on the knuckle. Does what we call a Tokyo Drift. Manages to not catch an edge. Pops a 630 out, that is harder winning the game of bridge against your grandmother. Holy cow. Alex Hall coming in for his fourth hit. Oh, sick following up Henrik Carlo with the Tokyo Drift of his own. Quinn Wolferman coming in switch as well. But down to the two minute mark. Oh, no. <laughs> no! I want to see him land that so bad. That is such a nutty trick. Switch tail bud, double court 1080. Every part of his being is telling him to take it to 12, but he's telling his being to frig off right now because he wants to hold it at 10 and impress those judges. Jonah Kangas coming in for his fifth and final run. Everybody gets five runs here, it looked like. At least that's what the timer allotted them. Switch three. Just switch 10? That's the first, that's the biggest spin, the most amount of rotations we've seen so far. That's a 1440 all in all. Four full 360s. And did he manage to log grab on it as well? Stop. Stop. How, how do you find the tip tail of your ski? He went Cuban on it as well. Look at him, look at pinch that. Just like a piece of freaking Himalaya salt, dude. That was crazy. Here's so when the jam session clock runs out, we will finish out the run order and look at Cody Stevenson. That is probably the nicest landing I've ever laid my eyes on. Tay sponsor run five. See if he goes for the nose bud dub nine. Would love to see him hold it at 900. Oh, please. One last look here for Tay sponsor. Oh! To do. That's harder than a hundred year old piece of mahogany, man. Nothing's more dense than a nosebud dub nine. Yes, for Shader, we saw the switch dub backy. We saw the front flip to lay Barani. We saw the areola slide 900. It's all making me very ghastly. My muesli's coming up here. I love how easy he can make that look. Tokyo Drift backslide to a 630L, kind of like a bio six or something there. That was righteous. Oh yeah, See, th that is that is an athlete visualizing Quan, visualizing the switch tail butter dub 10 there. At least I think that's what he's going for. Maybe he's thinking about something else, hot pockets perhaps. But again, such a nutty trick this man is going for. If he manages to lace it, could for sure be a contender for first place. Diving forward, gets, oh! Missing, missing the pop. Again, you can't really pop off your tails. Doing tail buds on a switch dub 10, man. 
Ridiculous. Sad to see that he wasn't able to pull it around to his feet, but he got incredibly close. What's the stand he's gonna be? Jasper, dude, finally, man. This man gets robbed left, right, and center when it comes to his creativity on the course. So good to see him finally taking home a gold medal.